plus a TV icon, an American heartthrob. Rick Springfield opens up to O'Reilly about life as a sex symbol and what he's doing to support our troops. A TV icon who is as famous for his daytime stardom as for his rock and roll when the factor continues. In a moment, he broke hearts and broke records. Tonight's TV icon, When the Factor Returns. In the back of the book segment tonight, a TV icon and rock and roll heartthrob. Remember those songs? Uh, I guess I'm old enough that I do. Uh, they put Rick Springfield on the map back in 1981, setting off a frenzy among young women. At the same time, Springfield bolstered his fame with a star turn as Dr. Noah Drake on TV's daytime drama, General Hospital. Now, at age 58, he's out with a new Christmas album called Christmas With You, and proceeds go to the Gold Star Mother. Springfield recently entered the No Spin Zone with Bill. Today is Rick Springfield Day. Now, 1985, you're a big star, one of the biggest stars in the country, General Hospital. You don't have to throw bouquets my way just because we got stuck on triage duty together. I wouldn't throw them if they weren't deserved. You got the huge albums and all of that. And then you kind of disappear, and I understand it's because you had a depression situation? Well, actually it was triggered by, uh, the, the disappearance was triggered by birth of my son. I was pretty burned out at 85, and it was getting, starting to get into some issues. With, uh, I'd lost my dad earlier, and hadn't really dealt with it, and suddenly I became a father, and, and I had to, uh, and it was just, just sitting up was the right time for me to stop and start to look at things. So you, your son is born and you want to spend more time with him and the family. But you did have a depression yeah, situation. Yeah, I went through some pretty dark stuff. Tell me about that because of what people don't understand. I mean, you're, guys like me, we are, remember you. I mean, huge. <laughs> Women throwing themselves at you. How could you be depressed? I think it was to the point where you realize that you're that the material things won't bring you happiness in and of, of itself. You have to, you know, and that was really the wall I hit. Was that so you wall. weren't happy with all his fame and fortune. Did feel fortunate that I'd gone, that I, you know, finally hit something. But in the end, when it was just me by myself, it was. You know, I didn't. I was still me. You so know. you were lonely. Uh, was that it? Darkness that that uh, I that this wasn't what I thought it would be. This didn't heal me. Okay. It basically. Is Why did you need to be healed? I don't know anybody who who truly goes. You know. You know. I'm I'm right there. You know. Everybody is uh, dealing with issues. And you were born with great talent, obviously. <laughs> Did you ever pinpoint the fact that why you were unhappy when you got into this situation where you were one of the biggest stars in the world? I've been a pretty a pretty dark teenager, you know. It's uh, not a happy kid. No, I was uh, I was a happy kid up until I hit the teen years. Now, were you drug involved <coughs> at all back then? Um, that in had the 80s, you mean? It? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'd actually gone through my whole drug phase in the 70s. When I was in Vietnam, I started smoking dope, and uh, and I got into acid for a while. And but it was all that was. Not, I was very. I've always been a very driven person, and that was very counter to me doing what I wanted to do. Lately, something's changed. It ain't hard to define. Just has got himself a girl, and I wanna make a mind. Now you're 58 years old, and. You have a new Christmas album here. The whole point of me doing a Christmas record and what I sent it around was the song Christmas With You from the point of view of, of, the, of the soldiers in, in Iraq. I'd give anything just to see you again and to have this Christmas with you. The proceeds go to the Gold Star Mothers who are parents who have lost uh, 
um, sons and daughters over there. Over there. You do understand the sacrifice. Absolutely. But a lot, you know, when I, was, I just got back from Afghanistan, it's hard to get people to go over there, mm -hmm. celebrities like yourself, to, to even shake their hands. I performed for the troops in Vietnam in 68 and 69, and it was a, it's a very different war now. And I think, you know, there's I, I see soldiers walking through the airports and people applauding or saying hi to them. And but not the celebrities. Different. The celebrities haven't stood up. No Bob Hope. I think it's probably mainly fear. You know, I mean, you think so? I, uh, They're afraid? Friend like Gary Sinise has gone over there, and Great I know guy. I know people who have gone over there, and and we're planning to go over there, hopefully uh, April May. We applaud that you're helping out the Gold Star Moms, and we wish you the best with the album, Mr. Springfield. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.